so there's less than a week left for 2025 and i'm so excited to be setting my goals for the new year but this time i wanted to try out something new i am not going to set yearly goals instead i'm going to try out the 12 week year framework The 12-week year is a concept that was introduced by Brian Moran and Michael Lennington in their book by the same name. So it is a concept where instead of setting goals for the entire year for 12 months, you set goals for the next 12 weeks or roughly a quarter. Now I'm not talking about splitting your annual goals into quarters, which is what I used to do previously, but just setting your goal for the next quarter. Well, that's because the authors believe that 12 months is such a long period of time that it is hard to predict what you're going to do and i absolutely agree with them 12 months is such a long time that you can change as a person your goals can change or the things that you thought would work for your longer vision they don't work as well anymore In the past, I used to use Notion as my goal tracker, but since I know how to code, what if I built my own custom goal tracking app to win and achieve more in 2025 using the 12 week year concept. If you've been watching my videos, then you would know that I've mostly built front end applications in the past, but this time I'm going to build a full stack Mern app. And if you're also interested in learning how to build full stack applications with Mern, then this is for you. Before we dive deeper into the video, I want to share something for all of you budding developers out there who are also interested in learning more about the Mern stack. If you've been looking for resources to learn web development, then I've got just the right thing for you. This video is sponsored by Intern Shala's full stack web development placement guarantee course. Yes, you heard that right. It is a placement guarantee course. It is a structured program that will help you go from a beginner to an industry ready full stack developer. And the course is not just about teaching you these skills. It will also help you get placed in tech companies. It ensures that you land a job after taking this course or else you will get a 100% refund if a student is not able to get a job after six months from graduating from this course. This guarantee comes with a minimum of 3 to 10 LPA, salary or an internship stipend. You can download their placement report for 2024 from their website to get a complete idea about their placement guarantee. The past students in this course have come from a diverse educational background as well as work experience. Past students have been placed in 400 different companies with big names like Infosys, Deloitte, Uber, Paytm and Ola being a few of the names. Talking about the curriculum, the course is mainly focused around the Mon stack. So it includes front-end technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React, and back-end technologies like Node and Express, as well as databases like MongoDB. You can check out the exact curriculum on their website using the link in the description box below. This course also covers five projects and has multiple take-home assignments or exercises for you to practice your skills. You will also be provided mentorship under this course. So in case you're stuck anywhere, you can reach out to your mentors. The course is very flexible in terms of the time requirements. You can take the course at your own pace with the help of the pre-recorded video sessions or you can attend the live lectures for deeper understanding. You'll also be provided placement assistance. This includes mock interviews, resume building sessions, as well as the soft skills that are required as a software professional. You will also get to participate in AI-driven practice sessions where you'll get to elevate your resume and get personalized one-on-one -on -one resume vetting sessions. 
session. The students in this course will get an intern shala boost on their profiles for free, which will help you increase your visibility on the intern shala platform by five times. If you've not used the platform yourself for finding internships or jobs, then you can learn more about my experience with the same as a university student by watching this video over here. You can check out the link to this course in the description box below. You can download the placement report from there as well as browse through the curriculum of this course. You will also be able to find a few demo videos to get you started. Today I worked on the wireframes for the V0 version of my app. The first screen is going to be a simple login or a sign up screen. Once they log in, they are going to see their dashboard that is going to give them an overview of how their current cycle is going on. I've not created a wireframe for that view yet. The next view that I have is a cycle view where you set up your goals for the cycle. So a cycle represents a 12 week period. At the beginning of each cycle, you're supposed to set your goals. The goal setting workflow would look something like this. You can select a category into which the goal falls under. Then you have tactics. So steps that you can take to achieve that particular goal. I've used a Kanban board as a default view for your goals. I'm not sure if I want to implement a weekly or a monthly view, but here's how the daily view is going to look like. So every day you are going to create your to-do list. So each of these list items under the to-do list are going to be linked with your tactic or with your goal. At the end of the day, you will have a progress meter or your execution score. So if you completed two out of your four items, then your execution score for the day is going to be 50%. Next, I'm going to set up a simple project and install all of the required dependencies and start building the V0. I'll think more about the design once I have the V0 in place so that I can start using it as soon as possible. No, I was not able to finish the app in time, but that wasn't a problem because I had a backup option. I made sure to still set my goals and still track my daily progress in Notion for the time being. It took me a couple more days to build a usable functioning app that lets me create a cycle, add my goals, add my daily tasks and that calculates the daily score as well. It looks very bad right now and the features are very limited. As always, I take on these projects that I'm not able to finish on time. And this year, one of my goals was to post at least three to four videos every month. And one of the tactics that I set to be able to achieve this goal is to hire a video editor. I already am working with someone who edits certain parts of my videos. So that speeds up my process a lot. But there is still a huge chunk of the video that I do myself because I have a very certain vision in mind how I want the edits to look like and a lot of the times the vision itself comes into my mind when I am editing the videos. The second tactic that I set for me to be able to achieve this goal was to hire a developer. If you've tried hiring people, you would know that it is a very time consuming process. I just wanted to put it out there that I am looking for people that might be able to help me out with these coding projects. If you're interested, you can send me your portfolios and your resumes to this email down here. In terms of what I'm looking for is someone who is interested in the front end but also knows 
a little bit of the back end. I'm looking for people who are comfortable with JavaScript because all of my projects are in JavaScript and I work in JavaScript a lot of the times. And lastly, I'm looking for people who are interested in the creative aspects of coding. Circling back to my app, once I completed the V0, I started logging my tasks and started logging my details so that they are at least saved in the database. At least I have the data somewhere, even though my app has a lot of bugs. After that, I started working on the UI design. For the design, I feel that the bento layout is such a good fit for dashboards. I went to Behance for dashboard inspirations that were making use of the bento layout. Usually when I design, I don't design the entire thing first and then implement it later on. I only design until I have a good idea about the look and the feel of how it is going to look like. And after that, I start with the implementation and I build upon the design directly in code. I don't think I mentioned it previously, but this is the first time I am actually working with the Mern stack. It might surprise a few of you because Mern stack is apparently considered a very popular tech stack, but I never got the chance to work with it. Very early on in my career, I got the opportunity to work with Ruby on Rails and it just happened so that every next project that came to me was also a Ruby on Rails project. For the components, I am making use of Shad CN. I started with JavaScript code, but then in the middle, I decided I wanted to do TypeScript. So right now the code is a mess of JavaScript and incomplete TypeScript. Since January is almost over, it's the 22nd today. I'm going to stop this video here. This is what I was able to build so far. The app starts with a simple login page where you log in with the help of your Google accounts. Once you log in, you are taken to your dashboards. The default view of the dashboard is this overview screen over here that gives you an overview of how your cycle is going so far. I've implemented a few charts here which are static and are not really charts right now. I want to implement more sophisticated charts here, but I'm going to do that later on. The next view is the daily view where you can set your tasks for the day. Now here again, I've not implemented a proper Kanban board yet. There's no drag and drop feature right now. I was looking for a package that can help me implement it. If you guys have any ideas, I would love to know your suggestions in the comments down below. There's also an execution score on the top right corner, which is automatically updated whenever you update the tasks. And lastly, we have the cycle view where you set your codes for the cycle. It has been a long time since I did like a fully fledged front end backend personal project and if i were to do it again i would do a few things differently first of all a huge mistake that i made here was trying to implement a lot of the features at the same time so after completing the v0 i decided to not only revamp the design but also add the entire overview section and also refactor the code at the same time which resulted in a lot of existing features breaking i would also like to implement tests right from the beginning itself so that I don't have to manually test everything after changing just a few lines of code. Once again, thanks to Intern Shala for sponsoring this video. And if you guys are looking for a course to start your web development journey, then take a look at their full stack web development course that comes with a placement guarantee. And if you're not hired after graduating from this course, you will get 100% of your fee back. You don't need to have any prior knowledge about coding. They're going to start from the scratch covering the basics of web development, including HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You'll also be taught Git and data structures and algorithms. After that, you will move on to learning about front-end and back-end with the help of React and Express. You learn to build APIs with Express, Node.js, and MongoDB. At the end of this course, you will get a live placement bootcamp. You can check out the link in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.